today we're going to do an experiment using mercury. And mercury, you might be familiar with, it's a liquid metal at room temperature, the only liquid metal in the periodic table, in fact. And you can see I've got some in a wee, in a wee bottle here. And you can see it's really odd stuff. It kind of shakes around and it's, it's really bizarre. And it kind of, it's quite poisonous, so people don't tend to use it nowadays. But you may still find it in old thermometers. But we're not using it as a metal today, we're using it as, an, as in a compound. And a compound I've dissolved up in solution. And that's the three, uh, three measuring cylinders I have behind me here. And I'm going to add one, and I'm just going to stick a piece of paper underneath it. Because, just to let you know, so you can see the colour change. And what we're looking for is the colour change producing mercury iodide, which is a beautiful orange colour. And that's what I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to take my two measuring cylinders and add them both at once and hopefully you'll be able to see the beautiful orange colour that's produced and I should mention here that I didn't make these solutions up so I'm not sure who did in fact so if this doesn't work we should really blame somebody else rather than me because my experiments often don't work and it's always other people's fault so if I just add my two solutions here and uh, you can see as usual it hasn't worked and uh, this is typical. Who made this solution? Salma, was this you? Did you make this one? Ed? Lucy? Leslie? Where's everybody gone? There's no one going to open, oh, no one going to own up to this. This abomination. Look, it's still clear. It hasn't worked. It's still... Ew. I think I'm cursed. <laughs>